In order to understand how vaccines work, we first need to understand how the immune system works and how vaccines stimulate the immune system to provide protection against infectious diseases. This short animation will describe how the immune system fights infection and explain how it responds to a vaccine. The function of the immune system is to distinguish foreign substances from substances that are part of our own bodies. The part or parts of any foreign substance that are recognised by the immune system are known as antigens. Antigens are present on bacteria, on viruses, and on foreign cells from transfusions or organ transplants. Antigens may also be chemicals, such as toxins or components of vaccines. Innate immunity. The body's first line of defence against foreign substances is the variety of physical barriers it possesses in order to prevent entry. This includes tears, gastric acid and skin. However, if these barriers are breached, for example by bacteria entering the body through the skin, the antigens encounter large cells called macrophages, which are resident in the skin. The word macrophage means big eater. If a macrophage recognises the antigen as something foreign and not self, it engulfs it by a process called phagocytosis and can destroy it. Inflammation at the site also causes the release of small proteins called cytokines that help regulate the immune response and attract additional macrophages from the bloodstream to the site. This first and immediate response is known as innate immunity. Although rapid, it is non-specific, it is the same for all antigens and the immune system does not retain any memory of the encounter with the antigen. Acquired immunity. Sometimes the innate response alone is not sufficient to eliminate the antigen. In addition to phagocytosis, Macrophages can also transport antigen to sites where an acquired immune response can be activated. When the macrophage bearing an antigen enters the lymphatic system, it circulates towards the lymphoid organs, which include the spleen, the tonsils, adenoids, payas patches and lymph nodes. These organs are rich in two types of specialised white blood cells called lymphocytes. Also known as B cells and T cells, these lymphocytes are distributed in strategic sites throughout the body, ready to respond to antigens. There are also many B and T cells circulating in the blood. <laughs> 